Hey divas, Kaden here and welcome back to Chef It Up Fridays. On the menu we'll be making some crispy fried chicken. So here you go, I have my flour, my powdered season, my seasoned chicken and my baking powder. You gotta use your baking powder in your flour, at least that's what I use. And this is my egg wash. So uh, first I'm gonna go ahead and mix my powdered season to my flour along with the baking powder and stir, stir, stir until everything is combined and then I'm gonna move on to frying those chickens once I'm done combining my powdered season my flour and baking powder I'm gonna go ahead and taste it to ensure that it is to perfection now that I'm done with that I'm gonna go ahead and start frying so first I went ahead I did my chicken in my egg then to the flour and to the hot pot so I ensure that I have some hot oil in the pot I put some garlic and thyme in the oil to ensure that my oil has some flavor to it dip those chicken in the oil and look at that it's gonna come out like to perfection when I tell you there are many different methods out there there are many different ones but I chose to stick to this one because this this is the one I grew up on it's super simple quick and easy and it's gonna get your chicken to perfection golden brown and crispy and it doesn't take a long time all you have to do is just ensure that your pot is at the right temperature and all of that for this one I had to go ahead and pull out my cast iron skillet and when I tell you this was a game changer it definitely was it worked wonders this is my first time using one and I would never go back to using like a regular one this car cyan is a must-have as you can see when I add the chicken to the egg I went ahead and sure that it's fully coated before adding it into the flour when I add it to the flour I ensure that there's flour everywhere then knock off the excess and put it in the oil Now that some time has passed and my chickens are frying, I went ahead and checked on them and look how perfect they look. They're to perfection. They're golden brown. I'm going to go ahead and pierce some holes through it to ensure that there is some escape room for the, you know, for the blood that's in the chicken. You want to ensure you get everything out and you want to ensure that the chicken like soaks like all the way through you don't want to be eating your chicken and be biting in some raw chicken or at least see some blood that's gross
as you can see not all the chickens are the same size they're different sizes shape and everything so some is gonna cook before some or fry before some so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the ones that are fried and leave the ones that are not and I'm gonna continue to repeat that process until everything is done I could not fit everything in the pot in one frying so as soon as I removed some I went ahead and added the remainder. And here you go guys if you don't believe me look at those chicken they're crispy and golden thank you guys so much for watching if you want to try this method you should go ahead try it and let me know how they came out this was super simple quick and easy and trust me everything was fried to perfection if you open my chicken you won't see any rawness any blood or anything you can bite through it without having any mate any surprise at all thank you guys so much for watching Please don't forget to go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!